spooky forest, I guess. Uh, the old familiar treading no. grounds of Cloaca. <laughs> It'll never not be funny. So, uh, I want to talk about Klonoa only because I have a very vague experience with it. And because we're playing it is also a pretty good reason. <laughs> yeah. Also, also valid. But I played Klonoa 2, actually. The story is my dad was dating this... Babe. This fucking hunk of a woman, if I can say that. Actually, I don't even think she was... She was just like a mom. Maybe she'd be attractive now, I don't remember. I can't, I can't like, picture what she once looked like. But she had a son. And, uh, he had... He had Klonoa. And I'm I, sorry, how long did they give him? No, no, he only... <laughs> he only had, like, two games. He had just gotten a PlayStation 2, and he had two games. He had Klonoa, and, uh, Chrono Cross. And Chrono Cross is a really good game. That's another one of those RPGs that, like, they're really long, and I don't know if it'd be too fun to play, but I love it. I just think it'd be, like, a really long game in general, but, um... So that's why I remember Klonoa is because it was the only fucking game. Anytime I visited, I'd just be like, can I play Klonoa 2 and Chrono Cross? And at some point, he was just like, he knew I wanted to play it, so he'd just be like, you can play it. I didn't have to say it. He was like, he already read my mind. I'm like, okay, cool. Because at some point, you feel awkward when you go, like, I don't know if you guys went to your friend's house and you only really go there because you want to play one game. <laughs> that's what it was kind of like. I would visit the guy, well, my dad would go, but this to get his girlfriend. asshole wet. That's yeah. like something I haven't even thought about for years. That's definitely something I've done. Yeah, just like hang out with people just because you wanted to fucking <laughs> play use the them. game. Yeah, and use them. <laughs> Chris, tell me about how you used your friends and like manipulated them and gaslit them uh, when you were a kid. Uh, I used to use one of my friends. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. I used to go over to his house, use his internet to upload shit. Because my internet was so bad. Oh. But he knew it. He was cool with it. I used to go to my friend's house to, like, also, like, download CDs and shit. Oh, yeah, that too. I, I used to be like, Music. hey, I need you to download Final Fantasy Movie. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the Advent Children or whatever it's called? Yeah. Oh, man. When that movie came out, all I wanted in the fucking <laughs> world was to see it, and just the, the universe was against me. It just wouldn't happen. You wouldn't download it? There wasn't enough seeds? No, my, my internet sucked. I only had one friend that would do it, and, and I think he, like, went on holiday at the time. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't gonna be back for it. I was like, God damn it! And then my other friend was like, I'll I'll meet uh, your uh, your friend after school. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> he wanted to meet with my friend after school, my other friend after school, to give him a, a hard drive or a memory stick with the movie he downloaded on it, Final Fantasy VII Children. And then uh, my friend just was a fucking asshole. And he just didn't wait. He just he just went home because he he was like a minute late or something. So I had to wait like another few months to see it. That sucks. I was so fucking mad. I remember I used to just be able to watch movies at any point that were like popular and out. I don't know how. It's just like <laughs> I remember Shaun of the Dead just came out, and I obviously wasn't able to see it in theaters because at the time, like, you yeah. just can't see stuff. Like I didn't have a car. I literally had dial-up until I was like. Fucking thirteen or 14? yeah, me too. I got I got high speed like way late. Yeah, but, but our high speed was one megabyte. But Dylan would like Dylan would show up in these like these like homebrew DVDs and be like, I got Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> I'd be like, sick, dude, and then we just watch it. That's... So I could watch like any movie. I remember watching like they actually had these movies, but they had like Hellraiser and stuff. Yeah. And I remember a, a horror movie that scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. What was it, dude? What was it? Candyman. Ah. Uh... Candyman and um. Uh, Freddy Cougar, but I think I talked about how Freddy Cougar- the only reason I was scared of Freddy Cougar is because I thought he could really kill me in my nightmare. Mm. I didn't know he was like an actor. I was a dumb kid. I had a but, friend who thought the Candyman was real. Dude, I remember Candyman hearing about is that. Candyman scary, because if you say his name, it's like, you, you wouldn't think it would do anything, but like, he cut the, you know, The bejesus lower, out the, of Yeah, you. he cut the lower end of a, a fucking kid. And I was a kid, so I'm like, that's me, I'm not age, fuck this! That scared the hell out of- I didn't say that when I was a kid. Haha, <laughs> you killed him! I didn't Fuck mean, you, Klonoa! I didn't mean to. Klonoa sucks, he needs to get some better flight. Yeah, hmm. I remember uh, one time I had a friend that burned a bunch of, like, CDs and shit for me. Like, yeah. a bunch of, like, Disturbed and shit like that, huh. that he had on his iPod or whatever. LimeWire, right? Or, or was it fucking... FrostWire? No, no, he had, he had bought it, but he, he just- I gave him a bunch- he was like, Oh yeah, if you give me some CDRs, I'll burn them for you. Yeah. And, uh, he, he, like, burned them, and I did get them, but, uh, his dad got, like, really, really mad at him for doing Fucker. that. He was like, that is stealing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. right! 
<laughs> it is stealing, but... Who would have thought in a few years from now the streaming service would fucking steal certain fucking DVDs and force you to pay like $30 for each streaming service to watch each individual movie? <laughs> this guy has a fucking great design. I know! <laughs> Whoever the... put him together just oh! fucking hated him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a Sid monstrosity. It He's is, like a, it's, yeah. It's like a, a nutcracker on a fucking... No. On a little Sonic body. Look at his shoes. It's like Tails' shoes. He's kind of cool. That's a soldier? Yeah. That goes I to, to say war. What's in the water. If your country is under threat, that's what's protecting you, Corey. I mean, I would I would put my life in the hands of a fucking Hugh Pal with his claws. Oh, Hugh Pal's the ball. I got to say I love their little voices when they're talking. It's really cute. I love it too. It sound like he said shut up. He said fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, uh, being told to go fuck myself again. <laughs> We thought Granny could restore our king somehow, so we need to find Granny. We had Grandpa. Granny is who we need to find. I think Granny might be the one who got kidnapped. No, oh. that was the diva. But she had like long dog Dude. ears. Oh. Was she old? Was she an old diva? I don't know. Granny might just be like a like a term. He's like got a, a Pac-Man thing on his head. Might not actually be. Didn't him, didn't fucking Namco make this game? Did they? Well, that makes Pretty sense. Pretty sure they did. Didn't they? I'm pretty sure Namco made this game. I, I mean, he, yeah, if he's got a Pac-Man on his hat, probably. It looks like Pac-Man. Like, that thing looks I like something. I think that might be Pac-Man. Or Homer. Editor Enhance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, those are the those are the Milwaukee's, and those are the... Don't say it. Crumbledons. Acorn Heads. <laughs> Crumbledons, yeah. Like, I like that fucking baby face in the That's sun. That's Valhalla. <laughs> That's where I go when I die. Save if complete. you die in war, yes. So this I, is the I'll first chapter. Lyle, we're going to die in war. That's a wishful thing. It's thinking. going to happen. I'm not ready for war. You dang straight, you're not. Well, you keep saying you got them bone spurs. <laughs> Damn bone spurs. What's a bone spur? Lyle, explain. This mimosa generation can't handle mugmosas. Mugmosas. They can't handle war. And you know what? I'm right there with you, pal. I can't handle it either. Uh, I would be like, I can't draw a porn. <laughs> and then I would get beaten by soap. <laughs> I gotta climb the rock mountain. I would get beaten by soap. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Did the Swiss make the army knife? They had to have. Otherwise they couldn't Think call it. it that. Like french fries or the hamburger. Actually, french fries was made in Spain. Fuck you. Or the Irish potato famine. Yeah. That was actually... That, that okay. was in Milwaukee. You, yeah. you might not know this, but the Irish potato famine was actually in Idaho. Are you for real? For real. I Check. thought this whole time <laughs> it was in Ireland. Why would they do that? Historical revisionism is a bitch, man. Irish people lying again? These buttons. I could never fathom. <laughs> These buttons are getting stuck. Somebody came in between them because like the A button isn't popping up like it normally does. Lenore. I enjoy this game, even though I'm just like sort of playing and talking. I just, you know, I'm. That's I, the premise of the show. I don't know show. how to pay attention. My brain can only move so fast. I mean, you're jumping on rocks. I like going quick. Going really quickly. Ah! Damn Guys, it. did you know that Let's Playing was a dying medium? Did you know that? But we saved it. Yeah, Let's Playing we, wasn't we made really it cool. that... Let's Playing wasn't really that popular. I, I, we I thought, created Let's Plays. Yeah, if and we can kill us, it whenever we want. Yeah. Guys, think about it. Be think careful, about it. You need to be more nice to me. <laughs> God, you're, you're just not good at that. I I'm mean, not grasping the concept here. I don't I'm know how many more I'm times stupid. I can say it. I meant it. to jump, but I screwed it up. I wish this game had a more jump Bubsy once. aesthetic. There we go, I got you it. Know? I think that everybody says that about every game nowadays. <laughs> the Bubsy aesthetic? Uh, it's got like this like wonder aesthetic. It's beautiful. It's we never cool. got that got far in Sparkster, but there's like a Sparkster level that this reminds me of. You really? played Sparkster, I played... Um, oh! I played uh, the rocket one. We are not the same. Yeah, okay, just say it. What is it called? Rocket Knight Adventure? Yes! Oh, yeah. That game's awesome. That is a fun-ass fucking game. I never played Sparkster, but I played Rocket Knight Adventure. And I, I, I never played Rocket Knight. The worst Knight. part about Rocket Knight Adventure is as a kid, when I beat it on normal, the game is like, good job, now beat it on hard and get the real ending. And yeah, I'm like, Sparkster I don't wanna does play that it. too. I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore. This is fun. I like skating on stuff. I do too. Oh no! These shields are freaking scary. You know what this shit looks like? I feel like these are like designs from like Wario Land or Wario World from like GameCube. Like they have all these weird oh, yeah. 
fucking like realistic designs, but with like human shit. It's they remind creepy. me of Digimon a little bit. They kind of do too. I always yeah. wanted that Wario game. I don't know why I never got it. Which one? The Wario. Uh, really? The GameCube one. Yeah, or the, the, the GameCube one. The game, I I had one of the Game Boy Advance ones. Those ones were good. And I got the GameCube one. And I, I it, the it was Boy okay. One. The Game Boy one was sick. The one for Wii that was like hand painted, frame by frame, pixel art that was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, like had a stupid shake gimmick that totally ruined it, and ah. I never could beat it because it just hurt my hand after a while. That's really cute. That Small looks like a Pokemon. Fish. That could like totally be a Pokemon. That could totally be a card worth thirteen dollars. That could be like Mew Four. <laughs> Fire a wind bullet. What? That's you part of Pokemon B, lore, you know. Fuckhead. Oh, do I do it forward? There you go. I didn't know you could shoot forward. What the hell? Small fish. Small fish. How's is that saved. fucking small? It's bigger <laughs> it's than fucking you are. Massive. Everything talks. Car, you ever hear of Pikachu? Yeah. You ever hear of Pika 2? I heard of Pika Blue. What about Pika 3? I, I kind of want to talk about Pokemon. Uh, I kind of want to break away. And Can you're... you see my mommy? <laughs> I want my mommy. I want mama. It was her name Carla or Carl? I think his name is Carl. I think her name yeah, is it's Clonoa. Carol. It's Carol. It's not Carl at all. This game is a nice adventure through a nice world. It's Look very at that, pleasant. you're going, it's like Mario Sunshine. It's like Mario's oh. urethra. Mario. <laughs> Get out of there! Oh, it stings! They have a really beautiful locales. Right here! Oh. <laughs> God! Oh. He's cool. You know what, you know what these Peaky designs the look Viking. like? Tell me, Corey. These looks like something you could draw in fucking Graffiti Kingdom. Oh. Which is another game I wish we played. That like, game's awesome. This is like real-time shadows now. Blood. Yeah, that's Excuse the me. remaster at work. This Ew. is the ray tracing His at work. Seed off. If you if you're gonna burp like that, at least cover your dick. I bulged. He's seed off Wattler. Oh, she made it made her evil. That's uh, her evil mom. Cute. Your mom. Hey, that looks sick. Boss fight. A simple yet elegant design. Wait, who's who's Pamela? It's that fish, the purple fish. I thought Seedoff was the purple fish. He's Seedoff? No, he's Seedoff. And the fish's name is Pamela? Uh, I oh think my so. god. That makes, that makes sense to me. That looked actually painful. Yeah, it fucking hit her as she was coming in. She like scraped her fucking flank on that thing. Flank. I hate that little guy. He's kind of like Meta Knight, but. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Get back! I gotta say, I really like that they made Meta Knight like a weird Antonio Banderas Spaniard. <laughs> Did they do that? Yeah. And when? Yeah, and what? In the Kirby cartoon show. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're right! His voice! Yeah, he's just like, Kirby, suck my balls! That is true, he yeah. is like that, it's funny. I've never seen that show except for maybe like five seconds of it. It's not good, but they uh, they I'm gave bad. them fun voices. I remember I keep like, they to made shoot it uh, down, but I need to throw it to the they side. They made Dedede sound like fucking Foghorn Leghorn. It wasn't even in Ireland. Yeah, he's though. like, get that dang there, Kirby. Really? Yeah, that is what he sounds like. And then he has like his like weird. He has this weird slug assistant who talks like this. Yeah, he's like, like a Squidward type dude. Yeah. And, and Kirby's just like the silent protagonist, right? He says "poyo" a bunch. Really? Yeah, Wahoo. it's like his little Pikachu thing. I did really bad. Oh, you're not gonna die, you know why? No, I am gonna die. Because I'm holding my hands up! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you guys something. What is it? I recently went on a trend because I was interested after watching. You'll see it. <laughs> if you go to my favorites, there's like this like creepy video where it's like 3 a.m. challenge where like, you know, these people stay up till 3 a.m. and get bombarded by like Poppy Playtime monsters and stuff and they do really bad green screen. I think fucking Moist Critical did one about a guy, but like, it, it's basically like the 3 a.m. challenge. Have you ever seen any of those kinds of fucking videos? No. It's like a new breed of YouTube. Out with fucking Ella and Spider-Man, in with 3 a.m. videos with popular children horror games. Is like the idea that they're like trying to convince kids like, I really saw Freddy yes. Fazbear. Yes, it's full grown adults like us in our late 30s. Fucking or early 30s, let's not throw each other in the bus. But like, it's us in our 30s as if we were like, you have like Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's on the phone. He's like, 
hey, I'm coming to kill you. And he's like, oh. And then they use like the Among Us like <laughs> sound effect. No. And they use and all they, that they shit. They say this happens if you stay up till 3 a.m. Till 3 a.m., yeah. Corey, Which I don't think is very true. What? I was going to say, you should give that guy the shout out you showed me. The funny zoomer dude. Oh, oh. Yes, I should. There's, okay. Have you got... Uh, if you guys want to talk about pe- hold on. I'll, I'll tell- I'll tell it after this cutscene. Is that what she used to look like? She looks nicer. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, That's I'd... like looking at old Facebook photos of somebody and being <laughs> like, king. Oh, she used to be so hot, what happened? <laughs> I actually Weird think the original one was cuter. The pink one? The evil one? I think she looked better, personally. Well, how old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm 30. Right, so, since hitting 30, have you noticed, like, an extreme, like, rapid, uh, process of just seeing people around you, like, change their appearance really quickly. When you hit 30? Yeah. When, so, you're saying I look at them as a 30-year-old and their fucking body distorts and their no, mind melts? No, I'm saying that since I've turned 30, I've looked up people I've known and I've been ab absolutely shocked at how fast their appearance has changed in the last few years. I feel like their faces years. always stay the same, but I, their bodies evolve. Yeah. I, I'm not saying this to throw you under the bus or anything, but I've, <laughs> I've genuinely never had the urge to like look up anybody that I used to oh, know. Oh man, I do it. If I, I'm not I, keeping up with them I'm currently, not like, I remember don't people like care. randomly, and I'll be like, I wonder what the hell's going I, there's on. There's no way I'm looking up people from like my previous school Why not? year because it they make me uncomfortable <laughs> to re to somehow be flooded back with memories of talking to certain people. Why is that bad? That's normal. because I haven't talked to them for so long, and it's just like when you see this person. And they're doing the same thing. Like I, 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 I know what you're talking about because I remember seeing this one guy. He looks the, he looks completely different. He used to be like a little on the portly side. Yeah. He's totally fucking skinny, and he looks like a completely different person. Yeah. And when you see him, he has a career where he was. You thought he was gonna work on cars his whole life because it's like a shitty backwards water town. Yeah. But he doesn't do that. He works in an office building and like fucking, I don't know. He like. He builds certain things. He builds like certain plastics or something. <laughs> so he like made a name for himself, but that doesn't always happen. In fact, some of the people I used to know who were like rich and had like, you know, fuck you daddy money yeah. are now just like drug addicts who all they do is just like shoot heroin up and they don't even go on Facebook anymore yeah. because they're like, they're like worried about the world. So they're like in conspiracy theories and stuff. It's just, it's scary. It's, it's scary fascinating to, to me to, to like, yeah, if you have an idea of someone your whole life and you haven't checked in on them in like 10 years, just to be like, oh my god, I wonder what they look like now. Yeah, well, they're completely different and they're on drugs Sometimes 90% the, of the time. Sometimes they're the same. Sometimes they're, they're unbelievably like like gross looking when they used to be good looking and sometimes they've become like chads. It's like fucking scary. Who's the, who's the song? Who made the song um, Fly Like a White Guy? Does, does knowing what it's called affect yes, the it, story? Yes, it, it will help. Fly like a white guy, white guy. <laughs> To the sea. <laughs> How do I not Fly know? Wide they were like a famous future. like pop punk band, pop punk. Uh, Maybe punk. God damn it! What is the? I hate my memory. Oh, the, uh, that was an offspring. Yeah, the song? offsprings. Thank you. They have a song <laughs> exactly about what we're talking about, yeah. where it's like they go back through their senior year and like everyone they know, like some people are dead, some people died from like. You know, overdosing. Some people are like hookers, and they just like sing songs about their friends are all fucked up. And it's like a really creepy, relatable song now. Because as a kid, I'm like, I don't get this at all. But now that I'm adult, I'm like, oh my god, it somehow predicted the future. I yeah, mean, that's just kidding. some universal human condition shit. I would assume. Yeah. No, I had a really weird, uh, I had a really weird scenario happen where. I was really good friends with this dude in like middle school, early high school. Yeah. And then he just kind of like, I, I don't know, like we, we just kind of stopped talking for a little bit, no particular reason. Mm -hmm. And he hit me up as an adult, like maybe like 23, 24. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't talked to this guy since he was like maybe like 12 or 13, like, like still like kind of a kid but like getting into like teenager territory so I, I had like zero idea of what he would be like as an adult yeah, yeah. and I was kind of like okay like I'm, I'm interested w what is this guy you know turned into exactly and it was really fucking weird because I hung out with him 
and he was doing the same shit he used to do as like a, a kid yeah. like he used to do this thing where he used to just like look through my shit to like try to find like snacks and stuff oh, yeah. and he started doing that as uh, like a 20 something year old man I was like are you fucking kidding me he, and he, he like, still has like that radial memory yeah and he like he like spilled his drink on my carpet and didn't fucking tell me oh my god so like I just found it after it had like turned into like a horrible stain I was just like I, I can't I can't, I can't actually believe that I just hung out with literally the same God. exact dude in a bad way that I used to hang out with when I was like 13. It was so fucking strange. That is fucking strange. Okay, I watched the cutscene. They basically are gonna fuck with me and hide the key and I have to find it. You're gonna hide the key? Yeah, I have to find the one that has the key. Oh, thanks, dickface. You literally came out of nowhere. Ass biter. Well, people like that don't change because they're not surrounded by people. Yeah, they don't have like they, people they who can help them. They basically are content with being alone, and then they don't learn anything. I need to throw this on him. I remember that guy used to always like give me like weird talking twos whenever I'd say, <laughs> I don't know, like because I was yeah, I was kind of I, I was like. I, I was definitely like an angry kid, so I put out like some like school shooter vibes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but like that guy would that guy would like it. fucking like bitch me out for like saying I didn't give a shit about stuff and then he like turned into this weird socially maladjusted dude that acts like a giant twelve year old. Acts so, <laughs> like a I don't giant know. twelve year old. I think everybody needs someone to be like, dude, why the fuck do you do this certain thing? It's not normal. <laughs> no, it and, isn't. and then you're offended for like a day, and then you get over it, you learn. He was right on like half of those looking back, but I feel like the other half, I was kind of still right. That's just life, baby. Yeah, man. Oh my god, it's fucking panties. I'm gonna adjust them. Are your panties in a twist? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you learn how to pull up your pants, Why right? Why don't you learn how to Corey fly? does this thing where he pulls up his underwear and then ties them in a knot from behind. Yeah. Giving himself a sexual wedgie. That's what happens when you lose like 800,000 pounds and you need like to... <laughs> you, you still want to wear the same pair of pants. So you gotta uh, tie them in six knots. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna say anything because I don't need you getting like, you know, a huge ego. But you, you actually do look really good right now, Corey. Yeah, oh, Corey, like you've thank lost, you. like, Corey, noticeably since you're lost Armenian weight. Photo shoot, you've... <laughs> You look fucking beautiful. I had to quell that rumor so when I toured, like, people wouldn't see this, like, big fat Armenian man almost breaking every stage he's on. Yeah, Corey, you know what? Let's take a picture of you right now to show everybody what, you, what you've changed into. Go ahead. Okay. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> the man with everything. Corey, you look amazing. <laughs> Let me see it. How it turn out? That's a good picture. <laughs> My hair looks, like, fucking gross. <laughs> No, you look cool. No, I look like an asshole. <laughs> don't say that. I do! No, you look like a, a well-groomed, well-camped individual. No, well, thank you, but I disagree. I guess I'm allowed to do that. I'm not even joking. I had like a like a recent bout with severe diarrhea, and I oh lost like God. I lost like six pounds, bro. You lost weight Dude, from diarrhea? Yeah. The first water weight you get is like the biggest one. Oh. So when you, like the whole thing with like weight is like it, it, when you're losing weight you're you all you feel like you're like oh man i can do this because you lose the first like bit of yeah and you lose you, it fast you plateau and then you get but, like demotivated and you start eating like shit again yeah. it's like a, it's a cycle i fucked up again i'm an idiot i spent my whole life chasing diets yeah, I tried doing- And then doing... I always gain the weight back, and then you just gotta be like, you know what, I gotta stop God eating shit it. all You should have spent time. your life chasing pussy, my friend. Yeah, cause then you lose weight by fucking them. Yeah, and exactly. coming out that's of true, your dick. Sex. That's actually Oh my god! Untrue. That's true! No, every time, like, you fuck, you burn, like, 50,000 calories! That's the only reason I do it. What was I gonna say? People uh, use 7% of their brain. I know I do. Yeah, I, I use seven percent of my dick because if I use a hundred percent of it, uh, it hurts. I'll kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tickle her jaw. She well, snapping what were we talking half about? like as though I we were, were talking Superman. about something before. Um, we're what? talking about tucking, taking a picture of yourself while tucking, tucking, tucking um, in my cock. Tucking. You've been talking about that sports team that you wanted to start called the Pink Sox. <laughs> Pink Sox. The new yeah. Corey Slammers. It, okay, honestly, if I was to do a sports, what would it be? If, if you I were to, was like, to do a sport, you should do. Personally, I think you'd be good at frisbee golf. Frisbee golf? That sounds like something I would say I would make up and then be like, "You want to be That's a part real. of my frisbee golf team?" Frisbee golf is cool because you get to throw what? a frisbee. Yeah. You're a liar. You're I'm a not troll. lying. You're uh, a troll, Mick Roll, dude. Lyle, would I lie? 
Kind of. <laughs> True. Which is false. It's a false statement. And I win. And you're all deleted. I'm gonna delete you from existence now. Hmm. I'm Jonas your... Lyle's got a very JPEG-esque look about him. <laughs> What's that even mean? He's a bit funny looking. I'm a bit fuzzy on the edges. You got kind of a weird artifact. Yeah, your bit thing. rate's a little low, Lyle. <laughs> you guys didn't bit. have to call me out like this. I've got like a weird <laughs> bit rate thing going on. What does it even mean? It's more cinematic. <laughs> if you think about it, Kalno, it's just like a Sonic Fuck. fucking uh, rip off. Uh, mixed with this like is basically Mickey Mouse, just Green Forest. Mixed with a Springer Spaniel. Mixed with bullshit. Ah! He does kind of look like a composite of like three other characters. He looks like Sonic and Mickey Mouse and a dog. He looks like the, that Digimon, the, the green Digimon from season three. Nice. The green Digimon. Remember that little like Pikachu looking oh, Digimon? Yeah, yeah. With those floppy ears. Actually, people always ship him with Tails. Really? Oh uh, yeah. The Digimon? No, Klonoa. Because <laughs> uh. Tails can fly and he kind of looks like he's like furryish, like a fox, but not really. He's like a dog. So people always make like stuff with Klonoa and Tails. Why? I don't know why though. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I you know it's cute. I really would not want to see that. <laughs> You know what's That's weird? Like top three things. Um, <laughs> top three yeah, go, things. Go ahead. There was it's a point in my life where I was, I was absolutely 100% obsessed with Digimon. I was like, I was into it way more than I was Pokemon. It was like my favorite thing. Did you like the An Angelina Anaconda opening? Was she like? I didn't mind it. I was like, it was just like, I'm gonna see the Digimon movie, fellow nightmarish child heads. <laughs> but I, I think what happened uh, is in Ireland, it wasn't a big deal. No one cared about it. So the the once it got phased out, it was gone, and there was no real way to watch it. I don't think there was what video sales or DVD sales. So it literally just got deleted out of my life, and there was no way for me to like watch or you know, enjoy it anymore, so I think because of that, that's the reason why I didn't become a weird obsessed furry or something. What about Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I never watched that. Me neither. I was like, what? It's about cards? This is... <laughs> well, I remember thinking Yu-Gi-Oh was cool very, very briefly. I like the theme song. My, I used to watch uh, the theme song and turn it off. My, my, Sorry, accident. My school, and I, I've learned that this wasn't a universal thing. It was just, for some reason, like, my school... Everyone just decided, like, after the first generation of Pokemon, yeah. everyone just decided Pokemon was for babies. And honestly, yes, like, the first everybody... generation is like the. Uh, honestly, I used to think, like, the first generation is the only Pokemon I like, but I, I do think, like, Gold generation were cool. one and four, I, I think, like, one, two, four were good. Cause that... I don't. I think one and two were good, and the rest is just annoying. Well, you have to think of it this way, like,. The Pokemon games now, which I don't really- I can't fucking believe people still get hyped for Pokemon. It's the same game. It, that it's... Ar Ar what's it called? Arceus? We pl it is so unfucking believably bland and, and looks like shit. Dude, it's really- It's the most phoned in crap and I'm sick of people caring about Dude, Pokemon! It, it's really weird to me. Oh fuck, I need People to... are like, oh, did you see the new drop for Generation 6? Oh, and it looks exactly the same. Yeah, it's... No innovation. It, it, they, they're completely phoning it in and treating you like chumps. It's literally the most profitable media franchise of all time. I... And then it's like, it's also... did you see yeah. that, that now you can like move around in the overworld? <laughs> and it's just like, you... it's like, it's the same exact thing as Generation 1 except on a 3D plane. Nothing's improved. I want to say something. All the po- what? Go on. I mean, I never played Pokemon, but this is something I've wanted to say. I'm being really bad. Let me- let me- let me, like, figure this shit out, but... Um, uh -huh. I wanted to play the mm. new Pokemon game. Oh. Um, because everybody was saying that, but also, like, okay, I'll just- l let me- prefix- is this the- is that the right term? Prefix? Yeah. Prefix. Prefix or prefix? Either. I don't know. Prefix is technically grammatically correct. I, I wanted to play it. Oh, I gotta hold it! Fuck, oh. I'm an idiot. Okay, I wanted to play the new, uh, Pokemon game, and I'm like... This is the tweet I made. I'm just gonna- I keep, like, going off topic because my brain is shutting down. I'm like... I'm like, explain to me, like, every time I see a new Pokemon game, it looks the exact same as the previous one. Like, the new one looks exactly like the Sword and Shield one. And I'm like, I don't get the hype behind it. But I also said, like, explain to me how I don't get that, but I somehow understand, like, Sonic. Like, for me, Sonic is like, I'll play the same mediocre fucking series over and over and love every bit of it, but I won't enjoy Pokemon. And when I made that tweet, that got a ton of attention. But also, I noticed a lot of people were like, yeah, fuck Pokemon. And that was like the general consensus. But yet, this is the game that sells more than any other game ever. 
I just don't get it. People still play these games. Yeah. It's turned into like the Call of Duty of the Nintendo franchise, I mean, no, and people it, complain it. and complain that it's, it's for still children. Sells. It's for children, and so children would of course enjoy it. That's the point. I don't know. Po Pokemon fans are kind of perpetually like disappointed. No, and I but get I'm it, saying like if but, you're a kid, I, I completely understand if you'd enjoy it. But I'm talking about adults who obsess over it and they enjoy it. I don't think they even enjoy it. No, they complain, they hate it, they and haven't it's the liked, best sold like, the game. Last four yeah, of them. I know. All, all I see are Super Pokemon fans who are very critical of new Pokemon games, yet it's still like the number one selling Switch game of all time during then. They get pulled into the fucking hype for like a month. And, and I mean, and then I they get completely it. completely forget about it. I get it. it. I love anything Sonic related, but like even then I'm critical of the games. And if the game looks like shit, I'm not going to play it. Like the new Sonic Colors game came out. I didn't even buy it because it looked like shit. D Dave ended up buying for me, bless his heart. <laughs> but I didn't never beat it because it was a piece of garbage. So I get it. But also I don't. Like, I saw some screenshots from that new Pokemon game that look worse than fucking Dark Cloud on PS2. The new new one that's the coming out? No, the one, Ar Arceus. Yeah, Arceus it, looks fucking it's, gross. But that it's one like sold awful. amazingly. It's, that one sold better than any other this previous Pokemon game. This game looks 50 times better yes, than it, it does. does. And, you, know, you know the worst part is like, that one is probably the best one they've put out in a very long that's time. That's insane because it's fucking dog shit. <laughs> I, it's I wouldn't say that it's good, game. but I, I like... The thing I it's get annoyed <laughs> is like you can't even get attached to these fucking Pokemon because a new set of Pokemon is gonna come out. Like you can't even enjoy the trainer Pokemon. Like they have the the weed cat and all this other stuff. <laughs> but then the next Pokemon's gonna come out and you're gonna have like a fucking plant frog and like <laughs> like a fire toad again or yeah. some shit. Like it's not yeah. even gonna matter. Uh, yeah, I, th I think there is a problem that's introduced when they've hit so many of them. That now it's like, oh, if we want to have every single one, we have to make like a thousand models for the next game. And animations. Yeah. yeah, it's just ridiculous. But also, I've never played a single Pokemon game, so this Malice is coming from a place <laughs> of... Wait, what?!